Welcome back to my channel. With the release of The Christmas Chronicles 2 over the weekend, before I review it, I wanted to briefly talk about the first film, 2018's The Christmas Chronicles. Let me know in the comments your thoughts on The Christmas Chronicles, and make sure to give this a thumbs up if you like these reviews, because it helps me out immensely if you do that. Also, if you're new here and you like movies, please consider hitting that subscribe button so you can stay up to date with reviews of new releases and some classics. But now, let's jump right into it. This stars Darby Camp and Judah Lewis as Kate and Teddy, respectively, two siblings who, on Christmas Eve, attempt to capture Santa Claus, played by Kurt Russell, on video while their mother at work. When they see him and sneak into his sleigh, they wind up startling him, causing him to crash nearly cross-country and losing his reindeer, his bag of presents, and his magic hat. Now the kids must help Santa regain everything he lost, otherwise the spirit of Christmas will be gone. This was produced by Chris Columbus and is directed by Clay Cadis, who also directed the Angry Birds movie in 2016, as well as worked as an animator for Disney through the 90s and the 2000s. And this film was a massive hit for Netflix, even cracking its top 10 again when the sequel was released. And that's for the reason that should be most obvious, which is Kurt Russell as Santa Claus. This isn't your typical portrayal of Santa, which is something he repeatedly acknowledges throughout the film. He's not fat, he's not exactly jolly, he doesn't say ho ho ho, and he can even be somewhat bitter and sarcastic. He still has some of the qualities associated with Santa, like he has his naughty and nice list, he knows everyone's names, and you'll see him going up to people and rattle off their whole life story, even if they don't believe it's really him. But he's a much more direct and blunter Santa, and it's easier to get him annoyed than any other iteration of the character. And that's where about 90 to 95% of the film's laughs come from, just from the novelty of Sneak Pliskin as Santa and him acting bitter towards these two young kids. And for the most part, the comedy works. Kurt Russell is very into his role. He gives a committed performance and he goes big with his delivery in each and every scene. He was very funny and he has nearly all the film's best lines. He's by far the most enjoyable part about this film. And I'd like to make that point very clear because if you were to take him out of the equation, unfortunately this is otherwise a pretty generic, straightforward Christmas movie that, for the most part, plays things pretty safe. It's certainly a well-intentioned film as it touches upon the meaning of family and spreading holiday cheer, but besides some unorthodox things said and done by Russell, it doesn't do too much out of the ordinary. Now, I will say both Darby Camp and Judah Lewis are good here. They are obviously big parts of the film, and they have issues of their own they're trying to deal with in addition to helping Santa out. And the film tries giving them some character development, especially as they're trying to deal with the death of their dad. But to be honest, a lot of it is stuff that we've already seen in so many other Christmas movies before. Judah Lewis doesn't believe in the spirit of Christmas, and he also associates himself with the wrong people, and Darby Camp is the more optimistic of the two, but their family's barely staying together because their dad died, and she's trying to get him more into the Christmas spirit, but they fight a lot, yet they have to work together, and it plays out more or less exactly how you think it would. When the focus isn't on Kurt Russell, this is essentially a cheesy, sappy Hallmark movie. Again, not saying the other actors are bad or anything, they all did a fine job, it's just they only have so much to work with. It's a film that's directed more towards kids than anything, and that couldn't be more obvious obvious than when we get introduced to Santa's elves, who kind of remind me of less mischievous versions of the minions from Despicable Me. They speak elvish throughout the entire movie, and they have their own banters that are meant to get some laughs, and they'll have these somewhat quirky personalities. And I think kids will enjoy these characters. I think they'll get a kick out of the funny voices and some of the things they say to each other, though I think that will be as far as their appeal goes. I didn't find them to be anything particularly memorable, plus I also found the CGI to these characters to be quite bad. Actually, to be honest, the CGI in general wasn't so great here. A lot of it looks very obviously fake, so it'll take you out of the moment. I mean, I know I'm watching a movie about Santa Claus, but it would be nice if the effects looked more believable. I also think the movie goes on for just a tad bit too long. It loses me a little in the second half, as at one point, all the characters get separated, and it drags things out more than it needed to, mainly because they have all three characters in their own mini-adventures, and some of it felt like they were just trying to create conflict for the sake of it. Like, there's one part where the siblings get separated and one of them gets attacked, but this part of the film, when you think about it, ends up having no consequence on anything else. You could have kept them together for the entire time and still achieve the same result story-wise. It felt like it was there just to stretch out the runtime a bit. That being said, I don't think this movie's bad. There is a heart buried underneath all its faults, and I think that's part of the film's saving grace. Its positive qualities are what makes it watchable. That just may not be the case for everyone, as its flaws tend to be very noticeable and can overshadow its good qualities for some people. It just seemed that there wasn't much thought put into anything that wasn't focused on Kurt Russell, who unfortunately isn't in every single scene. 
This isn't exactly a new Christmas classic, but it's still a decent enough time. Kurt Russell is by far the movie's best element, playing up this unusual version of Santa. He's very funny, and he has most of the film's best moments. And the movie does have a heart, along with a good message and two solid supporting performances by Darby Camp and Judah Lewis. It's just that outside of Kurt Russell, it otherwise plays out like a fairly generic Hallmark movie that keeps things pretty safe. I think kids are going to love it, and adults will certainly enjoy Kurt Russell, but because there's not much else for adults to enjoy beyond him, they won't like this nearly as much as the target audience. It's still worth checking out though, at least once. The Christmas Chronicles gets a 6.5 out of 10. Stay tuned, later today I'll have my review out of The Christmas Chronicles 2, along with much more coming soon. So let me know, did you see The Christmas Chronicles, or are you planning to see it, and what were your thoughts? Did you find it funny, did you enjoy the story, and what's your favorite movie about Santa Claus? Let me know in the comments below! If you enjoyed this video, please like it, and share it, and for more movie reviews and film discussion, please make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay updated. Thanks for watching everyone, and I'll catch you next time!